under the radar considering she is a Grand Slam champion. And this young woman, Laura Siegemund, she's gone through qualifying. She's had some matches on these courts, so that should help her feel a little bit more relaxed. But she hasn't played in Ash Stadium. She hasn't played under the lights. Very overwhelming for a player who has very little experience on the WTA Tour. She's had her best results on the ITF circuit and just had a quarterfinal run with WTA event earlier this year. So she's playing some of the best tennis of her career, but she will have to put forth a Herculean effort against Kvitova if Kvitova is playing her game. What a way to make your U.S. Open debut. This is a nice payday for her. This is the type of player who really has to week to week you know, with the sponsors and the matching outfit and the whole thing. And here's Sigamund. It looks like, you know, I'll put together what I can. <laughs> looks like almost like a practice outfit. But it is color coordinated. A couple of unforced errors and it gives Sigamund an Early breakpoint opportunity. First serve, Siegemund. Laura Siegemund. The Kvitter would blow the qualifier's doors off. That's not happening. Here, everybody is a little bit tight. A little. Oh. That. Chooses not to. The pace and depth from Kvitova's continued to bother. It's not a big booming serve, but it's very accurate. And it's a quick serve. It comes off of her racket. It moves nicely through the court. Kvitova hasn't quite recognized to pull those balls in, make her more inexperienced opponent play in this situation. Love 40, now deuce. Shows Siegemund is thinking. Trying to make adjustments. And those are the kind of misses that you understand. down the line over the high part of the net when you're that far behind the baseline and you're going to Kvitova's forehand. Well, that was the right shot. That was, she had the opening there, but not giving herself enough more part of the learning experience. And seeing what's going on out there.